Hey there, this is Devox and welcome back to our channel. We are going to talk about 5 best places to visit in Tasmania. Choosing just 5 was not easy because everywhere in Tasmania is a great experience for us. I will be talking about the places where these pictures were taken. Super super excited to present you with the first two. Keep watching. Before we start off, please subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so you will get notified as and when we upload videos. Please leave a comment on what you think of the video, hit like and share. Starting off with number 5 in and around Hobart city. There are many attractions to see within the city and many more within short distance of the city. Salamanca market is a pop-up market happening every Saturday at Salamanca place. A place where you can meet local traders a place where you can enjoy fresh produce, handmade items and variety of food. Hobart Historic Cruises is another activity you can do in the city. Ferries are leaving from and returning back to the harbour at the Hobart waterfront, which is few steps away from the Salamanca market. Go for a walk in the city. You will find historic buildings, historic sites, parks, water fountains and many more. Evening walk at the Hobart waterfront with an ice cream is also something you can do. Anyone would love that. That's not all. Seafood restaurants including fine dining with a view available at the waterfront. I have done a separate video of best 10 places where you can go as day trips from Hobart. Maybe that's something you can watch. I will put the link in the description box below. Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens is also a popular tourist attraction in Hobart. I have done a separate video about this. We'll put the link in the description box below. Succulent restaurant at the gardens is also something you can try. A nice restaurant with nice food and nice view. subscribe our channel leave a comment and encourage me to do more videos like this Number 4 Tasman Peninsula Another beautiful piece of land in Tasmania You can make it a day trip from Hobart or spend a couple of nights and explore more in Tasman Peninsula You will find many attractions in Tasman Peninsula including boat rides, rare formations of sea cliffs, rocks, historic sites and restaurants We have done videos on Tasman Peninsula if you wish to watch Links in the description box below. Number 3. Table Cape Tulip Farm in Vineyard Farm is open to public from September to October every year. Table Cape Tulip Farm is hectares of tulips that flower for one month in spring. So you can do this trip only if you are visiting Tasmania in spring. But you can purchase tulip bulbs during other times of the year. This is an actual farm, so appropriate footwear is recommended. And also I should say, 
Vegetable Cape Tulip Farm is located in an iconic location in northwest coast of Tasmania. Number 2, Bidstow Lavender Estate. This is one of my favorite places in Tasmania. Lavender season is in summer from December to January. So, if you want to do both the lavender farm and tulip farm in one trip, you have to stay in Tasmania for 3 months. Or the other option is come for tulips in October and come back for lavenders in December. This is the world's largest privately owned lavender farm situated northeast of Tasmania. We have done a separate video on this one as well. Link in the description box for you to have a better look. Last but not least, Cradle Mountain Lakes and Tear National Park, one of the very popular tourist attractions in Tasmania, located in the Central Highlands region. You can do different short walks or multiple day hikes based on your suitability, capability and your availability. Few of Tasmania's 60 great short walks are in Cradle Mountain Lakes and Clare National Park. Also, a couple of waterfalls with breathtaking views. You are seeing one of them now. We have done separate videos of Cradle Mountain Lakes and Clare National Park. Links will be in the description box. This is a place of exceptional natural beauty in the heart of Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area. This is a place of all seasons, something special in every season. Snow drifts in winter, vibrant yellows, oranges and reds in autumn and likewise. If you stay connected, you can get notified about our latest uploads and watch more travel ideas like this. Thank you for watching and see you with another exciting travel video. Bye bye.